and we're going to start the video with a quick hello from Mittens, who's just popped in to see what I'm up to. Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I am back with a haul from the land where everything used to be one pound, but not anymore. Yeah, I'm back with a Poundland haul for you today. I'm getting together some bits for a Poundland video that I'm very excited about. I told you a bit about that in my last Poundland and Primark haul it was, it was a combined one. Um, but yes, I'm still getting the bits together for that. And I had to pick up a few more items for that video. Stay tuned for it, do subscribe if you haven't done so already. I think you're gonna love that one. But today, as I have a few extra bits from Poundland and a few random bits that I picked up in store, I thought I would share them all with you. So that is what we are going to do. We're gonna do a good old fashioned Poundland haul today. Okay, quick sip of the coffee. I'm having it in this charity shop mug that was originally from H&M Home. And then I'll show you everything that I picked up. First of all, I got one of these jugs. I've got one of these already and actually picked up a couple more because there's something I want to do with them in the Poundland video that's coming soon. Stay tuned. These are now one pound each, which I think is fantastic. For this bobbled glass, I think that's such a good price. They did go up to one pound fifty for a little while, but they're back down to one pound. I couldn't see the glasses in store, so I wonder whether they're just selling these off. But I have spied them on the online pound shop. I'll link it in the description box. Basically, there's an online pound shop that is selling all of the Poundland items, or a lot of them. And I know sometimes when I do these hauls, a lot of you say that you can't find the items that I show you in your local Poundland store. I think it's a fairly new thing that Poundland is now part of the, I think it's the Pound Shop Online or something like that, I'll link it for you. Um, but yes, very exciting for those of you who don't have a big Poundland near to you. If I mention something and I've spied it on there, I will try to let you know. This is one of the items that I did see also on the website and they haven't put the price up on there either. It is still just one pound on that website. So yeah, good to know if any of you are after one of these. And yes, yeah, stay tuned to see what I get up to with it. What I get up to with my jug. <laughs> That's exciting. Um, I also spied some really nice boxes in the Mother's Day section. These are one pound each. And I thought they'd make a lovely gift box. You could use these, I guess, for birthdays, all sorts of things. They had a few different designs, but I thought this was the nicest. And it's quite a nice size. So, oh look, quite squirreled away in there. <laughs> I got some Galaxy triple treat triple treat bars if i can say that and they were reduced to 50p i got a few other reductions in store i got some orange matchmakers that were down to 50p or 25p and i also got um some little rainbow cakes by mr kipling delicious down to 50p they're no longer with us they haven't made it to the hall that often happens with the food items from poundland but yeah 50p for those and i've also had a box of these already that may have disappeared um it says over 75 percent fruit and nut, high in fiber. So yeah, it's like a little fruit and nut bar, but then covered in galaxy chocolate, which is a vibe, isn't it? But yeah, these boxes, I thought they were great for one pound. Nice thing to pop away for a gift. And also in store, I spied these rather fabulous mugs. I was very excited to see these because these are by the brand Sasson Bell. And I actually popped into their shop recently in Covent Garden. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen the things that I spied in there on my stories. If you're not following me over there already, definitely come over and follow me because I'll always share with you anything that I spy in store pretty much as soon as I see it. So often I will share my bargains on there. And this was three pounds in Poundland for a Sasson Bell mug. That is really good going. They're quite pricey. Um, in the store. They have some lovely designs. So yeah, head down to Poundland and you might be lucky enough to find one of these. I couldn't see these on the website that I was telling you about, but yeah, very, very good for three pounds. And it says hand finished and dishwasher and microwave suitable. <laughs> suitable for use in those things. Um, there we go. But yeah, you could pop that into this box and you've got a gift there for four quid, put a bit of tissue in there. Makes a lovely present. Okay, so next up, 
in the Easter section on my home account, Mr Carrington Home, I've done a little reel of the Easter bits that I spied, including a very nice little bunny plate. The bunny's got his kind of, he's lying on his back with his legs up in the air holding the plate. So it's like a, I guess it's like a cake stand and they do those in quite a few different homeware stores I've seen. Probably the cheapest in Poundland, that one was coming in at three pounds which is really good. Pumpkin's just popping in for a little prowl around to see what I've been buying. Hello, Pumpkin. Mwah. Say hello to everybody. How are you today, Mr. Pumpkin? Are you a fan of Poundland? Say, not when you haven't bought me treats. No, I'm not. Um, but yeah, in the Easter section, I picked up, first of all, these tea towels. How nice are these colours? This blue reminds me of Tiffany or also Fortnum & Mason. Very nice turquoise. And then we also have a printed one for one pound for the two. I think that's fantastic. I mean, you could cut these up and use them as really nice um, dusting cloths as well. And I thought they'd be quite good for some little DIYs for EC. You could maybe chop these up into little bunny shapes and make some little toys or some bunting with those. Great for one pound. And then for one pound fifty, they also have these fabric table runners with this really nice, bright kind of flower design. It kind of reminds me of a daffodil. And I've noticed in Primark Home, my lamp's playing up a little bit. I think the kittens are interfering with it. And <laughs> some of you might have seen, I had some bother um, with my lamps. The ring light is playing up a little bit. So yeah, apologies if that's been going on or not. I hope it hasn't been distracting. It just changed again. Either that or we have some visitors in this home. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it probably is the kittens. <laughs> and um, yeah, this design in Primark Home at the moment, they've got loads of kind of daisy shaped things. So if you're into your flowers in that kind of 90s daisy shape, have a look in Primark Home. But yeah, £1.50 for that. Yeah, this one's playing up. I'm going to switch it off so that it doesn't keep going on and off. And hopefully, it's not going to make much difference. I've got my other lamp on. Hopefully that's okay. And then I saw this Wham box, which is a fantastic brand for your storage containers. Really good quality. These are really nice and solid. And this was £4. It was described in store as a garden caddy. But, I mean, you could use this for cleaning products. You could also use it for your craft supplies. I'm actually going to use it as a toolbox. I have got tools in one of those toolboxes. I actually bought it from Poundland, I think. I think I spent £12 on it, if I remember correctly. It's one of those quite robust plastic toolboxes with the folding lid that has all the little compartments in. Whenever I pick it up, I feel like if I forget to put the little latches on, it swings open and all the tools kind of fall out of it and the tools are really heavy in it. So I thought having the tools just in an open box like this, I'm talking things just like your hammer, your drill, your screwdrivers, those sort of things, it will just be easier and I'm going to do away with the um, the official toolbox and use a caddy instead. I do like a caddy. So that's what my tools are going to go into. And it's nice and strong too, so I feel like that's going to be all right. I picked up one of these, fr uh, not frames, um, what do you call that, a canvas. So it says value stretched canvas, a good quality A3. And yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of a DIY on this. I got one of these. This was £1.50. Again, I will be bringing you a DIY with this, but it is a garden hanging basket, or a wall basket, in fact, um, from Wilson and Gregory. And yeah, the label on there just says wall basket. You know I like to read my labels. And it's just got a really nice um, metal frame to it, and then this kind of, I forgot what you call this stuff, but enough there to kind of pop your soil in and allow for plenty of drainage. They're really nice, they're not huge but um, big enough to do a nice little wall basket display. Actually, on the label here, they've just gone for some greenery, which looks quite cool. Often, I always think of hanging baskets as very kind of colourful things, or wall baskets, but actually, just doing some greenery in there looks fab, doesn't it? I've never thought of doing that for some reason. Anyway, talking of the garden, next up, they have in store some garden tools, and these ones, uh, £1.50, which I thought was really good with the wooden handle. So I went for this trowel and yeah, for £1.50, I thought that was really good. They also had the mini little rakes and they had they had another one, but I've forgotten what it was. What would it have been? They had a little kind of like forky scraper thing. <laughs> Maybe it was like a weeder. Next time in Poundland, I'll try and snap it for you and share it. 
Um, I got some bamboo toothbrushes, a three pack. Um, these were just one pound and I just thought those were really handy to have for traveling and also, you know, if you've got um, someone stayed over and they want a toothbrush, it's always handy to have some spares in the bathroom. And then I picked up this White Flowers bath salts. I think this was pound fifty, if I remember correctly. And I thought that was a really nice bottle. I really like the kind of dark brown jar. And yeah, it just says, unwind with the scents of white flowers, sandalwood, violet, and musk. It reminds me of those kind of old potion bottles that you get. Oh, and it's like a little, yeah, really nice little stopper on there. It smells quite nice quality, actually. It's quite punchy. It smells quite musky, actually. Very fragrant, I would describe that as. Um, yeah, rather nice, and it's called um, Forest Wild. They've got a few things in that range. I got some of these push lights, again for a DIY, and these are two pounds for two, and each one just needs three AA8 batteries in. And these are handy for all over the home, aren't they? If you've got a little cupboard, a little area where you just need a little bit of light, um, maybe where your boiler is, or some, maybe your like, um, electricity meter, those sort of areas where you just need some light to see um, what's going on, they can be handy for that. So yeah, easy to install, they're just peel and stick. And I quite like the black, I think the other one was white perhaps, but obviously depending on where you stick them, you might want the different colors. I picked up one of these really simple little pillar candles. I thought these were really good. These are in the party department and they also have larger ones of these. I've seen people doing all kinds of interesting displays in vases with candles and things with those. I thought they'd be good for a DIY and yeah, the label just says crystals. Okay, next up, talking of the crystals, I've gone for something a little bit bling, a little bit different, and it is this Pep & Co um, soap dispenser, but I really like that. I thought that was something a little bit different. I'm gonna give it a little polish because it's got a bit smeary. I have to get some olive oil on there or maybe some baby oil to, to um, get rid of those smear marks. Um, but yeah, this was three pounds, and these things are just a great way to transfer some hand wash and just look a bit nicer. And I thought the quality on this one was rather nice. And then I got some long matches. These are always really handy and you get two boxes for one pound. It says, ideal for candles, barbecues, and open fires. I couldn't have said it better myself. So I got those and I also picked up this really nice little pencil case. This kind of suits the um, top that I'm wearing today, doesn't it? I've got a very cozy top on today because it has got freezing. <laughs> At the time of filming this video, it's got very chilly. So yeah, I've got this, this on today to keep me warm. But these pencil cases, I think the price on these was one of those prices that gave me a surprise at the till. I was expecting this to be one pound for some reason, but they described them as a, um, well, a pencil case. <laughs> but I feel like when I looked at the receipt, it said something like luxury pencil case. I mean, it's not bad for a pencil case, but it wasn't the price that I was expecting. They have a couple of um, colors in this. They also have this in black as well, but it's a really nice, simple um, design. I've got something in mind for this too. Then I got one of these little glass containers. These are fab. These are, I think this was two pounds or one pound 50. So a really good price for these very simple glass storage jars with um, a nice wooden lid and also the spoon on the side that sits in the glass. I just think that is really, really nice. And they have lots of these different storage containers in store. So if you're after some, do have a look in Poundland. They're quite reasonably priced in there. And then I got some of these little candles. These are the tea light versions, um, just battery operated. The batteries are already in these, so they're just good to go. That's a four pack. And then I have one of these containers. I think these are really good and these are one pound. And they're a one pound, yeah, one pound in, <laughs> one pound, and in euros it's um, one euro fifty. It threw me off there because for a second I thought, oh, is it another one pound fifty item that snuck its way in? But no, this is just um, one pound, get it right, and it's this really nice kind of ribbed glass that you see a lot in different stores at the moment, don't you? Very, very nice, and yet yeah, one of their fabulous one pound items, which we love to see because they're getting fewer and farer between in Poundland, aren't they? The one pound items. But this one is still a pound, and this is the Epsom Salts Natural Magnesium Sulfate Crystals with added fragrance. 
we've got the eucalyptus. And these are lovely to use. It just says add a generous amount, approximately two handfuls, to a warm running bath. So yeah, that is everything that I've got to show you from Poundland. I hope you enjoyed this haul. Let me know in the comments which item was your favourite. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if you found it useful ahead of your next trip in store. I know some of you like to make a little list of things I've shown you, so you can see them in the flesh. And also, if you are shopping, obviously, the Pound Shop online, which name still escapes me, but I will link it in the description, then hopefully that's been handy for you as well. Some of these items will definitely be on there, so hopefully that will help that online shopping experience for you. Don't forget to click subscribe if you haven't done so already. I will be bringing you that rather interesting Poundland video that I keep bigging up and then you'll probably be like, is that it? <laughs> but stay tuned for that and there's lots more exciting videos on the way. Don't forget, as I say, you can always catch me over on Instagram as well. It's Mr. Carrington. I'm also on TikTok where I'm going to be snapping lots of my in-store finds as well. So do feel free to follow me over there if you're a TikToker. You can tell that I'm not really down with kids. Um, in the world of TikTok, but I am over there if you would like to come and say hi there too. But yeah, I'll let you get on with the rest of your evening or day, whatever time it is that you're watching this, wherever you're watching from, I hope you're having a good one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.